about like just like relaxing time and class time and things like that. So I'm gonna start off with this one. This one was the latest drawing. I did it today, like a few hours ago. To me. That's me as a crab lobster thing. Snail. Oh. Then, also at the back of all the purple ones, it's light pink. And back of all the blue ones are really light blue. And I love the back of them when I do purple and blue. This is the actual RVs. It's a rainbow right here, and blue fading into purple here, then a rainbow here, and blue fading into pur oh, purple fading into blue here. This is my art inspired drawing, my, um, stick because I drew a bunch of lines and I added like streaks with blue and black and red and black and yellow and black and orange and black I also wrote inspire in orange and black and I did a streak with purple and black and another orange and black because orange and black is so cool and then green and black and then I put some purple and blue on top of the green let's see what happened there oh it actually didn't bleed through that I put a heart right there and some more orange and black. And I did a painting with a bunch of colors and stuff. I might draw faces on some of them. Probably not, but I might. Then this is my picture, my painting of a fire. I think it looks really cool. I really didn't want to mess up the painting by actually making it look 3D and putting the sticks on the fire like it usually would be or inside of the fire because I really didn't want to ruin it. So that's the end of it. Then I have my other painting right here. It's like a night sky with a ball. The ball was supposed to be closer and it was supposed to be bigger, probably like take up this much. But, and it was supposed to be right here to make it look closer, but you get what you get and you don't get upset. That's what my teachers always told me. And I have the moon here and some clouds on in front of the moon. Then blue fading into purple because I just love purple and blue fading into each other and then trying to make purple fade into black but not really working. <laughs> I might be able to help that a little. Okay, doing this in the camera was a bad idea. I'm just gonna do it in real time. Okay, I can't do this. I can't do this while holding a camera. Okay, so next painting. Ooh, I gotta let that dry. I don't want it to happen over here again for things to bleed through. Okay, I think we can move on right now. Oh, and also that's the back of that painting. It looks pretty good. And then I made a bunch of little drawings. Like, I made a really cute penguin right here out of my um, purple, purple colored pencil. Then I made like this purple that bled through this purple that bled through, I made it like a little puddle that the penguin is stepping in because I just made it a beautiful oops. Then I made another cloud over here and then I made another puddle that's fading because I can't stop myself. I'm sorry. 
than more puddles and clouds, I mean, than this weird robot creature dog that the orange thing is its head, the blue is its face, the yellow and green is its body, and the sticks are its legs. There's a splatter paint that I did that I thought looked like kind of like a firework, and then I made this weird little creature that looks like a cat, but with a bunch of ears. Like, look at that. It has, it has one, two, three, four, five ears. Look at that cat, and it's saying, meow. Then I made an ice cream cone. That's actually what I first made out of all of these. Then I made a pretty, a pretty good um, seashell. Yeah, seashell. Then I made this dude right here. He was going. He's supposed to be going to school, but it didn't look so good. So it's that. And then the sun that I actually am still working on, but I'm not working on right now because, as I said, I'm I was working on this one. Oh, that's too far back. Oh, I guess I just missed this one. This is my cloud painting with a rainbow and a rainbow bridge and a river that I found out after I first drew it that it looks like the Wonder Woman sign, except in a rainbow. Then I did it again over here, but with a swirly line. So it didn't look as much like a Wonder Woman and looked more original. What is that? Anyway, I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be a sun. Or maybe it was a beautiful loop. So I don't know. Now let's go back to the painting that we're on right now. 